In step six of exercise number eight, the following actions have to be implemented to define the second part of finishing the mold core with the 2.5D milling module. A pocket strategy is used to perform the finished machining of the flat floors. Afterwards, a profile strategy is used to perform finishing of the outside contour. These simple pocket and profile operations are used to showcase the versatility of machining strategies that are offered by SolidCam. First, you have to add a pocket operation to the cam part to remove the 0.24 mm offset from the floors using a pattern. In the SolidCam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose Pocket from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The Pocket Operation dialog box is displayed. In Pocket Milling, the objective is to remove material from the interior of a closed geometry. The operation definition for a pocket strategy is similar to that of an iMachining 2D strategy. For example, the geometry will consist of two separate contours, which means that they will each be milled as separate pockets but within the same operation. On the geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the operation. The Geometry Edit dialog box is displayed. In the SolidWorks graphics area, Pick on a curve that represents the front floor as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain. When the confirmation message OK to accept is displayed, click Yes to accept the chain selection. In the chain list, right-click Chain 1 and choose Mark Open Edges. When the Mark Open Edges dialog box is displayed, the following entities have to be marked as open. Change the Select option to From Two Entities. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the two chain entities as shown. It is important to select the entities in the order of the defined chain direction, which is represented by the red arrow. Beginning with the first selected entity up to the last entity, the chain segment is now marked as open as indicated by it being painted the color black. Click OK to accept the selection. For the second contour, Orient and zoom into the area of the part geometry as shown. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on a curve that represents the back floor as shown. Select Auto Constant Z to close the chain, and then click Yes to confirm the chain selection. In the chain list, right-click Chain 2 and choose Mark Open Edges. Change the Select option to From Two Entities. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, Pick on the two chain entities as shown. Click OK to accept the selection. Now that the two pocket contours are defined with the appropriate edges marked as open, click OK to confirm the geometry selection and exit the Geometry Edit dialog box. Switch to the tool page and click the Select button to display the part tool table. For this operation, you have to define a new tool for finishing the floors. Click the Add Milling Tool button and select Bullnose Mill from the Milling Tools list. Under the Topology tab, set the diameter value to 6.25 mm. Enter a corner radius value of 0.625 mm. Keep the default remaining tool parameters, but change the number of flutes to 4. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the top face of the stock model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and pick on the lower face of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Enter a step-down value of 34.4 mm, the full pocket depth. Switch to the Technology page to define the technological parameters of the pocket machining. Under the Technology section, use the default selection of Contour from the list. This type of technology will machine each pocket with a pattern following the shapes of the machining geometry contours. In the Overlap section, you can define the overlap of adjacent toolpaths in the milling of the pocket. The percentage of tool diameter should be set at 60%. In the Finish section, enable the Floor checkbox. In the Offsets area, 
you have to specify an offset that will remain on the floor prior to the finishing cut. Enter a floor offset value of 0.12 millimeters. Switch to the Contour tab to define the parameters specific to the contour technology. Select the Outside Radio button in the Start From section. This option enables you to work in a pocket area starting from the outside border and cutting towards the middle of the pocket. In the corner area, select Fillet from the drop-down menu. This option connects each direction with a given radius allowing for a smoother transition between path directions. The default radii values are used. Switch to the Open Pocket tab. This tab is enabled because the pocket geometry contains open edges. During the open pocket machining, the toolpath is extended beyond the open edges. By default, the percentage of tool diameter in which the tool will overlap the open edges is set at 10. For this operation, no advanced parameters are used. On the link page, the default settings for the tool approach and retreat are used. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the toolpath can be viewed on the model. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the pocket operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Then, click the Simulate button. After the updated stock calculation is completed for the operation, click the Play button. The tool approaches the first pocket from the outside and performs machining of the floor with a contour pattern. The tool then steps down to remove the 0.12 mm allowance with a finishing cut. The machining of the second pocket floor is performed in the same fashion. Using the exit button, close the simulation control panel. For more information regarding this operation type, refer to the SolidCam milling help. Close the pocket operation dialog box with the exit button.